important information. The president is dead. This is Delta, this is Camp Northern Light. Come in. Why haven't they evacuated? The extraction team is still en route. Their initial landing site was overrun, and I can't get anyone from Delta X-Ray on the radio. Well, keep trying. Here are the new destination coordinates. Two more minutes, and they're on their own. We evac as soon as the plane's loaded. Keep everything hot. Who knows? We might be back someday. Two minutes. Move it, people. Come on. Out there. Delta X-Ray Delta, this is Camp Northern Light. Come in. Delta X-Ray Delta, come in. This is Delta X-Ray Delta. Who the hell are you? This is Simon Crawler, sir. I'm a sysdoc working for the NSA at Camp Northern Light. I have new orders for you from CENTCOM. A little busy right now. Yes, sir. Uh, we're about to bug on ourselves, so I'll get right to it. I have GPS coordinates for your new destination. It's the uh, CDC Mass Infection Lab on Mount Wilson. You're to escort Dr. Merch and any other survivor to this location. It's priority level one. Hey, are you sure? These coordinates are in California. That's a roger, sir. Where's my chopper? I I'm showing that still inbound, sir, but don't you worry, Delta X-Ray. I'm not going anywhere. You get us the hell out of here! You hear me? This can't go home. You keep them up as long as you can, and you fall back to the lab, okay? All about to get the
Whiskey Bravo 6, this is Northern Light. I have eyes on your approach. You're right on top of a man. Awesome flying. Delta X-ray is bringing out survivors now. Good luck, Whiskey Bravo. We're out the door ourselves. Catch you in the next life, sir. Northern Light, signing off. Nana Griswold, a true survivor. Not many grandmothers left these days, especially as old as Nana was. How old was she anyway? 63. Wow, that's old. 64, and I'm not dead yet. <laughs> but I think it's time. I think I'll go now. special. Take it from here. Ready, Nana? Hell yes, I'm ready. I've had enough of this stinking world. <laughs> Sophia Christina Griswold, in this eighth sacrament, I commit your soul to eternal peace. I give you mercy. What's up, Charlie? I'm at the water's edge. We can use it. Go for Warren. What's up, Charlie? I'm at the water's edge. We can use a little backup. Two minutes. As far as I can tell, it's just two males. See what they want. You can always turn them back around. How did Nana's eighth go? Very good. Good people. Thanks for doing it. I just, uh, can't anymore. Too many. That's okay. She was ready to go. Where are we all? Problems, we hit the ground. I'll take care of the rest. That's far enough, gentlemen. Identify yourselves and state your business. Team of snipers has you covered, so no sudden moves. Lieutenant Mark Hammond, 
Delta Force. Or at least I was when there was still a Delta Force. I'm on a mission for what's left of the government, and I need your help. What mission? For what government? Look, to be honest, I don't know if anybody that gave me the order is still alive. I do know it's imperative that I get this person to a medical lab in California. Alive. Well, I guess I won't shoot him. Yet. <laughs> Some kind of doctor? They're not a doctor. His name's Murphy. And he may just be the last best chance to save humanity. have time for you you know that i just wanted to know if you're gonna make it home for christmas like you promised Daisy, I, I just don't know things are pretty busy up here you and all your top secrets i'm thinking you some time off but he's gonna be so disappointed i know <coughs> but i'll get home soon i promise how's cowboy oh, he's fine he cheated with another one of your shoes <laughs> sometimes i think he misses you more than i do that's possible. <laughs> Did you see that stuff on the news about Washington? That's crazy, huh? Northern Light, this it's is CDC Northern Mount Beach. Wilson. Northern Light, this is CDC Mount Wilson. Over. Mount Wilson, this is Northern Light. Over. The lab has been overrun. Operation Bite Mark, abandoning location. What is the status of Delta X-ray Delta? Over. Delta X-ray location currently unknown. We lost contact three weeks ago. Over. I need the status of Delta X-ray Delta. We need to pass on new court. Now, Wilson, we did not copy. Repeat, we did not copy. Over. Now, Wilson. <clears throat> All we need are some basic supplies and transportation south as far as the Tapatio Bridge. We're meeting a new team there, and they can take us the rest of the way to California. California sure is a hell of a long way. The Tappan Zee Bridge is a long way. I wouldn't ask, but it's imperative, and I am out of options. How'd you find out about this place? The next cop and some others taking shelter in the prison 20 clicks up the road said there was some National Guard set up a camp. Ex-National Guard. No, I was with Georgia National Guard. Born here was activated out of Missouri, but as far as I know, we're the only ones left of our unit. Look, I know, it's no more chain of command. No more guard, no more government. Just a few of us out there following orders, because that's what we do. I lost eight of the best men I ever served with getting this far. My orders are to take this man to a lab in California, and that's what I intend to do. Now, are you people going to help me or not? Why is he so goddamn important? He has information vital to the development of a vaccine for the zombie virus. And that's all I can tell you. How much more do you need to know? Warren and I can take the pickup truck, bring you to the Tappan Z, but you can be on your own after that. That's all I'm asking. Well, if we keep it moving, we can get there and back before nightfall. I'm not sure we risk the truck. Or you too. Maybe I haven't been clear. <laughs> this is more important than your trucks or anyone's life, including my own. I don't want to have to insist. I was supposed to be at my rendezvous two days ago. This needs to happen now. Listen, they're trying to steal your truck. Do what you gotta do. Always. Stay in radio contact. We don't hear from you by tomorrow morning. We'll come looking. You'll have him back by sundown. <laughs> availability. 
quality of ammo is all you care about, then the 22 is the way to go. But you really want to make an impression, check out this smoke wagon. You really make a Z's day with this. Now the 22, that'll kill a Z, but it's going to be about two or three shots before the thing's down and dead. This baby, you stop a car with this. I was thinking something more silent. A club. A sharp. Yeah, I like how you think. Silent but effective, huh? Okay. Check this out. Oh. Made it myself. I call it the Z Whack. You start with an aluminum bat, then customize it for the task at hand. Wow. It's light. The spikes are hand cast from beer cans. They're long enough that they kill the brain, but you can still pull it out. Because nothing is worse than getting your pike stuck into a Z skull. But then you gotta drag them down to the ground, you gotta put your foot on their chest, and you gotta yank the thing out, and by then you're dead. You know what I mean? Sure do hate that. How about a straight across train? A dozen of these aspirin for a dozen of these reloaded 223s. You can't kill a zombie with aspirin. Well, you can't kill a fever with a bullet, and they ain't making any more aspirin. You make it a dozen Oxycontin, and you got a deal with it. I'd have to take a dozen Oxycontin before I'd make that deal. Pass them now, huh? You want some crystal? Now, big to listen. Well, that same pink ice you made before, and no, that stuff gave me an axe to the skull headed. No, that's what the aspirin's for. How many ampules of morphine you got left in there? Behind you. Nice. Yeah, right. It's a little close. Yeah, that that was a fast one. Brutal. Told you. Isn't that Red Hanson? Oh, he's got red. Damn, he was one of our best customers. Tough as bullets. I wonder if his brothers know. Yeah, I think so. Cause here they come. Recently turned, found on Miller's Road by Sutter's Farm. Given mercy, May 13th, 3 AZ. Time to go. I got something over here. Looks like a floater washed up. Got another one over here. This one looks dead and down, too. Donna? Can't blue sky this is mobile one blue sky this is mobile one over hey guys i need you to get back to us it's time for our apm signal check what are you wasting time for? You said yourself they'd be fine. Look, there must be something wrong. If we don't hear from them soon, we're going to have to go back. I don't think I can let you do that. If something's wrong with my people, I don't give a damn about your mission or you. We're going back. Look, I appreciate your loyalty to those folks. I do. But you don't know what I know about this man. Why should we believe a word you say? Get out of the car. Show them why you're so damn important. You hit it off me. Show them why so many good men died getting you this far. Show them. What happened? Those are zombie bites. Eight of them. Why is he still alive? Survive being bitten by a zombie. 
His blood carries the antibodies for the ZN1 virus. If we can get him to the lab in California, they can use his blood and make more of the vaccine. Mayday, Mayday, calling Camp Blue Sky. This is Doc with Thompson and Carver. What is your situation, over? Hey, Doc, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, Garnett, thank God you're alive. We thought everyone was dead. I'm not at Camp Blue Sky. What's happening? The families are dying. Wait, say again? Blue Sky's been overrun. The whole place is on fire. Survivors? Well, there's a ton of gunfire a while ago, but nothing since. Come on, let's go. Is it them? Enforcements are dead. We need to make a quick search for survivors and any supplies. You! Zip it up and stay close to me. Hey, where'd all the Z's go? Moving on, like locusts. Yeah, but they'll be back. Gunnett and Warren, you clear the building. And you three, check the vehicles. Driver. Dead. Turned? 
Looks like she took a blow to the skull. Brain dead on impact. There you go. Hey, Mav. It's a real life baby. I haven't seen one of these in years. And it won't stop crying. Here, what I do? Baby, don't. Okay. Hold him like he's alive, Brittany. Okay. Me and babies, not so much. What was she doing out here with a baby anyway? I don't know. Looks like they were headed to this shelter and got overrun. What the hell are we gonna do with a baby? Beats me. I stopped planning two minutes ahead years ago. thing. Come on. We just saved you. Okay, don't hurt him. Sorry. I didn't know where I was. I must have fallen asleep. Asleep? How long are you in this cage for? Two days. Shut that kid up before he tracks Z's like flies. Hey, it's a baby. It makes noise, okay? Shut up. And you do what you can. He's right about the Z's. Yeah. Hey, why would somebody lock you in a cage and leave you to die? What'd you do? I didn't do anything. I locked myself in a cage for protection. You have the keys? I lost them. Why are you dressed like that? I don't have to justify myself. Maybe you do. We were supposed to meet the men in those vehicles. What happened here? Those men showed up about a week ago. They cleared out the school and set up some kind of camp. But word got out that there was food. Lots of it from the bomb shelter. Yeah, it didn't take long. There was too many people. The soldiers shot some of the locals, and that brought the Z's. You can guess the rest. What are we wasting time talking to her for? Give her the baby and let's go. You can't give this girl a baby and leave. Well, they can't come with us. Listen, no way am I leaving the baby and her behind. It's not going to happen. It's just a baby. It's not like he's going to grow up and be a fine young man. Hey, look, shut up. We'll take him to the next safe outpost. God, I hate moral dilemmas. Yeah, what's next, Chief? You want to start a college fund for him? Puppies and kittens 200 yards away. Zombies. All right, everybody. Time to go. You four, I want you to gather all the food and weapons you can find. Load them in that truck. The keys are still inside. Hey, we haven't talked about this. We can talk about it later. Right now, you do what I tell you. Garnett, you stay with the baby and Murphy until we get back. Warren. You and I are going to see if we can start up that deuce and a half. Everybody needs back here in five. Go!
Hey, mister. Baby. Finally shut up. Get away from there. You do it. No, I don't want to do it. You gotta kill it. What's the holdup? Where's the baby? Turn. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> send you to walk among the dead. to Papa. <laughs> we wanted to ditch these two, take the truck and run. Now would be the time. Just say it.
this would have happened if you just left that damn baby. I didn't tell him I'd go get eaten by a baby. Never mind that now. We need a plan. My plan is I am taking this truck and I am forgetting about vaccines and labs and all of you. I wanted off this train from day one. And now's my chance. Wait, wait, wait. You can't just go. What about California? What about the vaccine? What if it's real? What if there's a chance? And what if it's you? Addy, how do we know this isn't all just bullshit? How does anybody know anything anymore? What the hell is that? Ray, this is this is Northern Light. Who am I speaking to? Addison Carver. Uh, okay, I, I need to speak to Lieutenant Hammond. Hammond's dead. I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't copy that Delta X-ray. Did you say that Hammond is dead? Yes. Is the package safe? Package? What what package? Who is this? Listen, I need to speak to whoever's in charge. Who is it? They won't say. They want to know who's in charge. You are. This is Sergeant Garnett of the National Guard. Who is this? Sergeant Garnett? Lieutenant Hammond was transporting a civilian named Murphy to California. Is he alive? Yes, he's still alive. Good, good. Uh, are, are you aware of Operation Bite Mark? Do you mean the lab in California? Yes. Yes, listen to me. It is imperative that you get Murphy to California. I repeat, it is imperative that you get Murphy alive to California. Do you copy? But we don't know how. Garnett, do you copy? Who are you? Garnett? Garnett, do you copy? Garnett! He's dead. Damn it! So? So, it looks like we're taking Mr. Congeniality here to California. Says who? Says me. Hey! Hey there! You're that sharpshooter that saved my ass, aren't you? Oh, man, I want to thank you. Do you need a ride? I know you're out there. I can see you. Running, hiding, killing, surviving. I've seen it all. Season tickets to the Zompocalypse. And I gotta tell you people, we've been getting our asses kicked. Well, today is the day that all that changes. That's right, I'm not just watching anymore. It's time to kick some zombie ass. This is Citizen Z broadcasting live via broadband, low band, VHF, UHF, Skynet. If you can get a signal, then you can find me, thanks to our friends at the NSA. Now, all I need is somebody, anybody, everybody to get back to me, because that's how it starts. If you're still alive, you're probably some kind of, some kind of genetically predisposed badass. And all we gotta do is get organized, and the zombies don't stand a chance. Here's a little something for all you out there with 3,000 miles of bad road between you and home. Just left that damn baby. If this all ends in tears, you gotta get him to California. So long, New York. I 
know where you could fill up. That's not a refinery. That's a zombie factory. Tell them what you are. The only way we're going to win this zombie apocalypse thing. Bash them, slash them, bust them, and burn them. Amish zombies. Really? Whatever it takes. So, what's the brilliant plan? Die, get eaten, go home early. Z Nation. All new. Fridays at 10. Excuse me, ma'am. You have a finger in your hair. Only on Sci-Fi. Welcome to a real place where making a real zombie movie has become a real way of life. Anything that could go wrong has.